Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how I can make a realistic urban or suburban highway inside the city skylines. In order to make this, you'll need to have some mods. I put a full list of the mods and assets I'm using in the description below. The first thing you need to do is draw a highway. And I'm just going to go into the highway tab here and I can select any highway here. I'm going to use for this, this tutorial a four lane highway, but any size highway should work. So next here I want to select in the network skins window, I want to go to none. And I'm doing this since we're going to add some street lights later. Then I just want to place my, I want to place my highway down. And then I'll place the road in the opposite direction. I'm going to place it pretty close to the other road, like this. So the next step is adding this road asset that's inside the, the roads panel here. And it's this one, it's the central reservation, one by two. With this object, instead of placing it immediately in the middle of the road, what I want to do is place it out here in the field so I can align it better. I'm just going to place one here, and then I'm going to zoom in and try to align it to the previous one. Like that. It's a little bit misaligned, so I'm going to use move it to move it a little bit. Like this. I'm going to go back to the roads menu and do it again, like so. Then we're going to escape, see if it's aligned. The, the fourth one isn't, so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit, move it to make sure it's completely aligned. The reason why I'm using this is because it aligns to the terrain versus other props don't really do this. And also when you use this, it sort of covers up the, the gravel gap inside the road where with other assets you, you still see gravel most of the time. So what I'm going to do is move this section of median with move it to the main road. Like so. I'm gonna move it to this one of the sides of the roads and then move the road itself. So with move it. So it lines closer, so it's, I'm gonna do it like this, kind of slightly rotate it so it's straight. So now if move it, I'm gonna move the other side of the road closer. I select the nodes here. So, and now I'm just going to copy this with the copy function. And paste it for the pretty much the entire length of the road. That last paste had an alignment issue. So I'm, I'm going to deal with that later and just Place it slightly off center. Let's rotate it a slight bit too. So I keep pasting for the rest of the length of the road. Okay, so now since I have my medium laid down, what I want to do next is fix the some of the the error points. So I'm just gonna use move it. Sort of try to fix it a little bit. Rotate this. Rotate this one slightly. I can just, there's an extra gap, I can just copy this one again. Try to fill in, fill it in, like so. Move the other one, again, move it. Like so. So once you have your median set, what you want next one to do is put the street lights back in. So I'm just going to go to my search tab here, type in median, 
I'm going to select this light and I want to go to my prop line tool. I want to do shift P to turn on prop and tree anarchy. Then I want to go to the prop line tool menu. I want to turn on anarchy as well there. Then I'm just going to draw this line in the middle. But as I see, I have to go to my parameters and rotate it so it looks so it's in the right orientation. Then I'm going to set my spacing to roughly like roughly around roughly around 30 or so. I'm going to try to center my lights. Just going to try to make it aligned. So that's pretty much it, like that. So that looks pretty aligned. So next, what I want to do is make concrete barriers at the the edges of the freeway. So I'm going to search for barrier in my search box. I'm just going to choose this one, this low height barrier. I choose the uh, I'm just gonna have to re reset my angle first. Then I'm just gonna choose this one. I'm going to let's make sure I'm going to align it just where the the pavement and the dirt meet, like here. Make sure I have anarchy on. Then get like that. I'm going to do the same for the other side. So now I can build my suburban area around this freeway. Like so I have to, I can just make sure I leave a little bit, a little bit of spacing. So like certain objects from houses don't poke out to where the barriers are. So this is pretty much how it would look a suburb around it so this this can work but you can do a couple extra things too depending on the style of your city you can also add a sound barrier and I can also just apply it somewhere here there's some separation between the highway and the residential area So, residents there don't have to hear the highway. Also on this side too. Then you can also add some trees to this area in between the barrier and the sound barrier. Let's use the prop line tool and add some spacing. Make, pick a smaller tree. Let's see. Yeah, you can go, you can do a lot of customization with this, with this step. I can just add a bunch of trees like this. trees like that. You can also just move this entire wall a little bit closer to the freeway so it matches the other one, sort of. Like so, so now it's more aligned. 
was one side. This is one type of suburban freeway you can do inside the game. Also, when adding curves, it's a similar thing. It's a similar process. You can just, here you probably want to turn on road anarchy by doing control A. And I can just make the road curve like this and then do a similar thing on the other side. Try to replicate a similar curve. If not perfect, I can always just I can always just use move it to fix part of it. I accidentally selected the five lane road, not a problem, I just upgraded it. Still, if move it, I can just put it into, fix it into place. So I make a relatively consistent median distance. Next, I want to copy the median sections from the finished part of the road with move it. So I'll select a portion. And so I just make like a, a rough copy like that. Adjust it a little bit later so it becomes so it's more accurate. Try to align the edges so they don't overlap too much, but they also don't leave any gaps. So now I just Select these two, move it, then sort of adjust to place so it covers up the dirt in the middle. The nice part about these median assets is that they conform to terrain and they they blend in nicely when your road curves and that doesn't it's not always the case with many other assets on the workshop. Dealing with curved roads is a bit more tedious, but still not so bad. So I just adjust these one by one. They are pretty much constructed a median for a curved section of freeway. As you can see, it sort of matches it. Doesn't look too bad. So now I'm just gonna show you quickly how I can make exits. What I use are these exit assets right here. And these work even with this median setup. It works best when you flatten the ground these assets in general so I'm probably going, I'm going to use I'm using the extra landscape tools terrain mod so it looks so there's a bit, it's a bit different than the default one but anybody can but there's just more options with this one I'm just gonna flatten the terrain out here Going to extend the road from this one. Probably want anar road anarchy back on. I'm going to turn off this lock right here. Same of here. I'm going to use move it and adjust it so it's the same distance roughly from each other. I'm going to use the road templates to make an exit. Then continue the three-lane road a little bit 
want to turn road locking back on. Rotate this one. You can go to the edge like that. And if you have this glitch, you basically can just delete the road like this. We apply it. Now I can go here, draw an exit ramp. This section may need to be moved a little bit, so I can just use move it and move it a little bit more far out. So just use move it and move this exit ramp a little bit. connect it to a street. You can customize this a lot more than what I'm doing, but this is just a basic idea. You would do a similar thing on the other side, but for time I'll just put a straight section of road in. So I can just adjust it a little bit more so the meeting with matches. And then pretty much since we, were, we already made this median that's straight, I'm just going to copy it from here. Just going to copy it. And then just continue it. Continue it like that. And then I'm just going to delete the rests here. Whoops, I'm going to delete the rest, undo that extra paste, and then delete the rest here. So we have road anarchy on these extra trees as I had to show up. So basically, that's it. As you can see, it's sort of it's more realistic looking. I'm going to do it like that. So thank you for watching this tutorial video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.